In this video, I'm going to teach you how to download and install NeoForge so you could add mods to Minecraft 1.20.6 using the NeoForge mod loader. Let's go ahead and get started. The first step to download and install NeoForge is to click on the second link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install this. Feel free to read through our guide, but if you just want to follow along the video, let's scroll down to step one and click download. That is going to redirect you to the NeoForge website where you're going to see 1.20.6 right here and you're going to download the latest NeoForge installer and that will begin the download for the installer immediately. Now, before we move on to the next step, I want to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you're looking for a Minecraft server, either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that will let you mod your server. So if you want to install NeoForge and play with friends, Apex Hosting is the perfect service for you. It will give you 25% off if you use the first link in the description. And not only that, they support over 200 mod packs. You will set up the server in less than five minutes and they have locations all around the world. As you can see, they have low stock on these because, you know, people use this a lot. Don't miss out on the opportunity and use the first link in the description. These servers are hosted completely online so you don't have to worry about port forwarding or putting your computer at risk because Apex Hosting will take care of everything for you. First link in the description and let's keep going with the tutorial. Now, once we downloaded NeoForge, let's go ahead and drag and drop it into our desktop. Now, if you have mods that you want to test out, this is your moment to download those, okay? In this video, I'm just going to install NeoForge and then I'll test it out with some mods I already have. But, you know, I assume that you want to download NeoForge because there are some mods that you want to test out. So yeah, go ahead and download those and put them on a the site here so you could be ready to add the mods later. Now, with NeoForge downloaded, really all we have to do now is make sure that our Minecraft launcher is closed as well as our Minecraft game and just double click on NeoForge to start the installation process. This little installer will come up, this little menu here, select install client, which should be selected by default, and then click proceed and the installation will begin. Now, if you were having any issues to open the installer of NeoForge, that is probably because you have an outdated Java version on your computer. And I'm not talking about Minecraft Java, I'm talking about Java as a software that allows you to open this type of jar files like NeoForge. Now, the thing is that after Minecraft got updated to Minecraft 1.20.5, any mod or any jar file that you try to install for Minecraft will require you to have Java 21. So I'm actually going to leave this guide in the description for you to update to Java 21. Some of you might have Java 17 or maybe Java 7, Java 8. Some of you might not even have a Java at all and you are not able to open the NeoForge installer. OK, so that guide is going to be in the description, probably the third link in the description, how to download and install Java 21. Just make sure that after you update Java to Java 21, you get rid of your older versions of Java and you should be able to open the installer anyways. NeoForge finished installing, as you can see in here. Let's go ahead and click on OK. Now we could delete the installer as well as the installer log. And now let's go ahead and launch our Minecraft launcher and see if NeoForge is there. Once the Minecraft launcher opens, as you can see, NeoForge is selected here automatically because we installed it properly. However, if you don't see NeoForge here in these options, you could always head over to installation Make sure that modded is selected because without modded, you won't see it. And then just click on new installation, name this whatever you want. Like for example, I'm gonna name mine Apex Hosting since it will give you 25% off. And then on the version, just look for NeoForge. It should be one of the most recent ones. Just select NeoForge and then click create down here and that'll make an instance of NeoForge for you. Anyways, to add mods to NeoForge, all you have to do now is head over to installations. Click on this little folder that appears right next to the play button. That is going to open this folder with a lot of files in here. And now you're going to look for a folder called mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, mine is right here. And I already have some mods in here. This is the biomes of plenty mod. And I already have every file that I need for this mod to work. However, if you don't see this folder in here, right? If you don't see the mods folder, you can always just click right click, click new, click folder, and then just name that folder mod. So yeah, you could create the mods folder yourself, then go ahead and open that folder. Yours might be empty and just drag and drop the mods that you want into here. Like for example, I'm going to drag and drop journey map. If you want to add the same mod as me, just watch that video that we have in the channel on how to install journey map to Minecraft and you will know how to download journey map. Anyways, let's go ahead and test NeoForge by clicking on play. Once you click on play, you probably have to click that you understand the risk if this is the first time you're playing modern Minecraft. But once you do, NeoForge will start loading, okay? So let's go ahead and wait for this to load. As you can see, NeoForge finally loaded, and we know that we're in NeoForge because it literally says down here. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch a world. Like I said, you could use NeoForge on servers, but you will have to create the server yourself. So just remember to use that first link in the description for 25% off with Apex Hosting. As you can see, we're in the world now. And actually this world was already generated, so we won't see Biomes of Plenty working here, but we do see Journey Map on the top right. As you can see, Journey Map is completely working. And yeah, like I said, I had already generated this world, so Biomes of Plenty won't show in here. But there we go. I went ahead and created a new world just so you guys could see that Biomes of Plenty is also working. This is a different biome in here. I don't really know the names of the biomes, but yeah, this is a different biome that only Biomes of Plenty will create. You can see it is completely working. Our minimap is completely working. But yeah, our mods are working because we installed NeoForge properly. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, bye bye.